In the book of Ecclesiastes, we hear there is a time for everything. Now is the time for me to reveal the new structural designs for parishes in the diocese. The new structural plan will allow parishes to collaborate with each other and help us all increase our focus on becoming missionary disciples. We began an important journey last year, one meant to ensure greater stability in our diocese for the next 10 years and to set ablaze the hearts of all the faithful to share the good news of the gospel in eastern South Dakota. The first major step in this journey was to create the framework for how our parishes will offer ministry in cooperation with each other. This framework consists of new pastorates that were presented to you in draft form last fall when we asked for your feedback and after you were provided an opportunity to review the current reality report of our diocese. From that feedback and with input from others with knowledge of each of the parishes affected, these drafts have been updated to incorporate many excellent suggestions for improvement that have been provided through this consultative process. I was really impressed with the suggestions that were shared by parishioners from around the diocese, which resulted in changes to earlier drafts. And so I'm reaching out to you today to introduce my decision on pastorates and the structural plan for our diocese. In announcing the new structures, it is my prayer that all Catholics, with the help of the Holy Spirit, will join me in pursuing a common vision for our diocese. As you review the new pastorate arrangements, I encourage you to ask the Holy Spirit to come alongside you to help you recognize the good that can come from working together and sacrificing for each other in cooperation with God's grace. Remember why we are making these changes, to build up lifelong Catholic missionary discipleship through God's love in our diocese. Right now, you might be asking yourself, how do these changes help create missionary disciples and the release of the gifts of the Holy Spirit through us? This is a good question to ask and the question that matters most. Because the creation of pastorates allows us to have fewer pastors tied up with administration, as bishop, I will be able to assign priests in ways that allow them to work through their giftedness. For example, if one priest is very impactful in sacramental ministry, but less so in administration, I will be able to offer that priest an assignment that will more fully align to his God-given gifts so that he might flourish in his ministry and life as a priest and have more time to serve the parishioners. Through his example and through the benefit of working in closer collaboration with other priests, that priest will also be more impactful in his efforts to form missionary disciples among the faithful because he can focus on his gifts more intensely and hopefully discover a deepening, healthy, happy, and holy life as a priest. In addition, the pastorates will ask the lady to assist in the administrative work of the pastorate in increased ways which will dramatically reduce the stress of the pastor serving in the area and the attention he must give to these important matters. This new structure embraces the core responsibility of the lay faithful and will better align priestly duties to those a priest is uniquely qualified to perform by virtue of his sacramental ordination. It will also enlist other clergy, consecrated and lay people to carry out those administrative responsibilities they are professionally and personally qualified to carry out under the direction of the pastor. If we work together and remain open to God's grace, we can create an environment where we can all become healthy, happy, and holy. That is how those around us will see God working in us and we can build God's kingdom in Eastern South Dakota. As the lay faithful step into their roles and the parishes, in each pastorate, begin to work in cooperation with each other. Duplication of resources can be reduced or eliminated. With this stewardship, I pray that those resources might be made available for new ministries and new ideas for creating missionary disciples will spring forth with everyone in the pastorate having the opportunity to take advantage of new programs and be involved in a full life of faith. I pray that the Holy Spirit will open our hearts to embracing new relationships with fellow Catholics in our pastorates and help us overcome any competition among parishes. And also remember that we are all children of God who are called to holiness as the most important part of our lives. I hope a personal desire to encounter Jesus in the Most Holy Eucharist will inspire our interactions with each other, parish ministries, and help us to overcome frustrations or inconveniences caused by the changes that I as bishop 
am asking all Catholics to make through this structural plan. I hope we will see fuller masses, more sacraments celebrated, and an increase in all vocations. If we all come together and engage in developing a personal relationship with Jesus Christ as missionary disciples, I am convinced we will flourish as a diocese, as pastorates, and as parish families. And the Holy Spirit will guide us as we continue on this journey and provide what we need to say yes to His plan for our lives. There are two ways to view the new pastorate arrangements. First, you can visit the Set Ablaze website to view the finalized maps online. While there, you will also find many other resources to answer questions and inspire you to walk with us on this journey. Second, you will see the new pastorate arrangements in list form in the February Bishop's Bulletin, which should be in your mailboxes soon. Know my prayers for you and for our diocese as we respond to the Holy Spirit on this journey. And let our hearts be set ablaze with the fire of God's love, that we might unleash the fire of the Holy Spirit and loving service of God and others.